if that was my homegirl, <laughs> she would be left right there. Mind your business. When my I, I, I see, there you go. You don't have to know that person. You know the dad. Why do you have to know the person? I gotta know that bitch. <laughs> you yeah, know, you know, you know, you know the dad. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, but I know that women, if I was in a situation yeah. like that, I know that the dad's probably not going to be watching the kid. The woman probably would be. Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. If I was in that situation, I'm sorry. I'm doing my due diligence before I drop but my kids off. Foul. Foul. No, it's foul. No. That's foul for you to just assume that, assume though. That's, that's not right. cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, that's, I that's, have to. Whoa. I have to look. My kid would be my prized possession, so I have to make sure they're going into a safe so environment. Why, so you don't think that the father that would be the father's prized possession too? I don't There's know. No I, way. I don't Let know. I don't There's know no how that would. I don't know how that would be. I don't we're, know. We're I can't together. say that. All I know is, based on my mindset, You're speaking from your experience. That's all. My no, kids, like in general, we talking kids. in general, Miss Cat. I know my kid's dad. If my, I wouldn't give a damn what the woman looked like. If he don't know what she looks like, says, how she acts, how she acts, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If he calls me and say, "Can I get my son?" I'm dropping his ass off. I'm not going to ask her no questions because guess what? I didn't drop my towel off to her. I dropped right. my towel off to his right. dad. Yeah. So at yeah. the end of the day, it's the dad's job to protect yeah. my child while yeah. my yeah. child is around that woman. It's not yeah. my business to be in their business about exactly. who she is because I don't give right. a shit. That's and right. I, I care. Don't care who I she is. Care, so I, you I know what I'm care. saying? I know well, my because, kid's father. I because know I know the kids get molested. I know the woman. He's not that woman. Hold on, you I won't let her finish. Saying? I won't let her finish. One mic, my bad. I, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not. I know my kid's dad is going to protect my child. Now, if you have a father of a child that you know that he's not going to protect, then yeah, you're supposed to. But I know my kid's dad. I know that my. I don't care who she, that she can walk the streets. I know for a fact that he's going to protect my child. There's no need to be questioning his girlfriend. Fuck mm -hmm. his girlfriend. And I've done that. I have three boys. Two of them, I moved out of state. He calls me, oh, I want my kids. I want my kids. You know what I'm saying? I was with a whole nother guy. You don't got to keep telling me you want them. I jumped one state and went to another. I dropped their ass off and I kept it moving. Not one time has either one of my boys came to me and told me the woman that their dad was with did anything to them. You know why? Because I trusted their father. If you don't, you, why would you even have a baby by somebody that you don't trust? That's right. crazy. You lay down and with see, this that's man. That's where, so you guys see right here where women are different. You're supposed to know this person before you even lay down with this person to even decide to have a child by this person. Somebody that you know, you know what I'm saying, that you'll be able to trust that child with. See. You know what I'm saying? That was not my business because he took care of them. Does it kind of say that some women are narcissistic? No, I think some narcissistic no just like, women are like, different women have different like, standards of what they want for their children than others that's it it's like, control control freak. it's like a control freak you know what i mean i want to control what's over at your house and, and control you, what's control, at my house. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and that's something that like like that's what it kind of sounds like i mean i could be wrong let me know you're wrong because different women are different different women have a different way of raising their children just like men are different some men are like oh yeah go spend a night over there and then other men are like no nah, my daughter ain't spending a night over nobody's house everybody's different when it comes to that kind of stuff so no the, yeah I know I, people I, who I, bring their kids I, over I, all their friends house to stay the night to stay the weekend and I, I have other friends that are like oh no my kids ain't spending a night over nobody's house ever they can play but kids, at nine o'clock be home we're talking about parenting we're talking about co-parenting. So that means you lay down with a man that you don't trust to even have your child. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because he has a girlfriend. So what? He can have 10 damn girlfriends. Right. You know that's what I'm saying? That, that has nothing. Well, I don't know about no. You. That's see, that's another thing. You know if a man saying? got ten or fifteen girlfriends, is that a good example for your kids? I don't know. That's a question mark. But why would you control that? You had a child. I don't think I would be with somebody who had ten girlfriends though, and have them around my. You kids wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. He got you. You wouldn't know. I'm saying, like, you would know if a guy has your kids around multiple women because your kids are going to tell you. You don't question your kids. Kids talk. You know so that. So what? She's How was she? What? You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Did she so touch what? you? Was she cool? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're asking so questions? What? If the woman offended your child, your child is going to tell you. If the, exactly. if the woman came at your child foul, your child going to say something. Some kids done got touched by uncles and aunts and cousins, and they ain't never told nobody. So 
the conversation was if your child would you let your child go with your baby daddy and then your baby daddy already has another chick and me my thing is cool yeah it shouldn't be no problem because what does it matter if him with a girl the child's gonna be protected with the dad but like she's saying most women don't do that because they're upset about the chick and i get what you're saying you're like well i want to know who she is but my thing is, why? Well, about what upset. difference does I that think make? As a parent, what? you should do your due diligence before you have your kid be anywhere. So this is this is what it sounds like to me. The dad has no rights unless you say so. I said that. Or he had, that's what it sounds like. like. That's what it sounds like. You know, he has no rights. Like no, no, no. Unless, Don't unless you say so. What I'm saying, what it sounds like, is a woman is telling you guys that I'm going to do my due diligence before my kids are in anyone else's presence. I'm, as a parent, I'm going to do my due diligence to make sure that I feel comfortable with where my kids will be in the environment they're going to be in. That's One second. <laughs> my homeboy got mad at me. Now he ain't talking to me because we in the club. And he tried to talk to these women, but he married. And I told him, hey, bro, you need to cut that out. He told me, man, why you hating, bro? Well, I ain't hating. I ain't tell you to walk down that aisle. I ain't tell you to introduce me to this woman and you go get that ring on your finger. Got me out on this wedding, spending all this money to come to y'all wedding to watch you come in, in this club and cheat and mess it all up. That's my money I spent on your wedding. I spent my money on your wedding. And I spent a lot of it, too. We all in Vegas. And all of that, all these casinos, and I'm spending all of my money. Now nah, y'all stand together. You the one introduced me to this lady. Got me calling her sis all the time, and all. I'm not gonna be lying in this woman's face, boy. You better go get you a drink. I pay for it. Get you a drink and sit down somewhere, bro, because you ain't finna. Nah, I spent too it's much. Somebody money. else's business. <laughs> it starts in the community, right? They go to community. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to the neighborhood. I would never play one of my homies like that. I think that's fucked up. But what do you mean play them? Address him as far as being in his business because that's what he was doing. Uh, I don't know. I, I I think niggas really look at that as like, okay, this nigga foul. This nigga don't come yeah. out. Yeah, he's, he's, he's foul. The person who's cheating or the person who's telling him not to cheat. I guess that's what I'm confused. No, the person that's business. in his business. <laughs> oh, as an adult, that's on the video. How do you, how do you tell an adult what to do? But yeah. at the end of the day, Nobody. what business is that of his, what he's doing outside of his household? We don't know the degree of, you know what I mean? I think What's it's What's going like, on inside their household? But how fucked up can you be as his boy to do a whole video eating chicken with it? If that was my home girl, <laughs> she would be left right there. Mind your business. Miss Cat, would you be okay with, like, would you be like, if you did that, or you saw your homegirl doing that, would you be like, girl, get off your husband at home? If I was with my friend that I love. Yes, ma'am. I actually love her. Yes, ma'am. Right? I'm going to sit her down and be like, why are you doing this? And I'm going to ask questions. Like, is something going on in your home? And Because I care <laughs> enough about her life to I not want her. her to be all in a messed up situation looking like that. Like, be an honorable woman. Like, if you don't want to be with him no more, that's cool. But don't put me in the middle of your mess because I have to see him again. Would me. you tell him? Would you tell him? Um, I would hope I would never be in that situation because would I... Would you tell him, Miss Cat? Would you tell him? I don't know. Y'all was at a function, and you had to tell. Um, well, you didn't have to, but you saw him. But the next day, y'all all went out to eat for a brunch. I would address, me personally, I would address her ahead of time and be like, you guys need to talk, and you guys need to work through some things. <laughs> okay, so the whole point, you wouldn't even tell him. He would just be blind. I don't know. I don't know. It would depend on what she says. We're that all hers, but not yours. That's still, if you love someone that's in your life, you want the best for them. Okay, maybe that's the best for her right now. Being deceitful is never the best for you. Whenever you got to sneak around and be with somebody, they're not worth being with. Miss Cat, I want to know: Would you tell him? <laughs> would you be? A I'm just saying. I'm tired of the case. The maybe we're girls. We're kicking it. We're hanging out. You know what I'm saying? If I decide to be in whatever guy's face or Look. kick it with this guy, however the case may be, I just don't feel that it is the next woman's or man's job to tell me what to do why i am out doing me look miss cat would you tell your best friend's husband would you talk to him and tell him they've been together for years mm -hmm. you got a cool y'all chop y'all know each other would you tell him that she was grind up on the nigga the night before the wedding <sighs> It depends on the, I mean, it depends yeah. on the situation. I'm going to be honest with you. If he, <laughs> look, if, if he, no, listen. Because that's yeah. a loaded question. 
<laughs> if if he's a good person and I know he's never done nothing like that to her and she don't have no justification why she's doing that, that's a problem for me. Now, if why she tells is that me, a problem oh, for you, though? That is not your relationship. That's um, not your relationship. Because I wouldn't want to be mixed up in nothing like that. Then keep your mouth closed. Act like you didn't see it. Your, your loyalty is not to her husband. Your loyalty is to her. You're supposed to be loved and love me, and you went and told my husband anything like that. We're not friends. I would give you the opportunity. I would probably tell that person, like, you need to talk to him because ah, you're now you're, you're part of the lie. <laughs> you're part of the lie. That's just the bottom line. Girl, this is but I don't think that no, I want to lose bang. a friend over something like that anyway. Because then that's why not? not really you go home to her husband and tell her husband something. You're not supposed to be talking to her husband. <laughs> you're not talking to my husband. You're my friend. You're not my husband's friend. Your loyalty is not to him. My loyalty is to him, not yours. I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't think I would even be involved in that kind of stuff, literally, because I would be looking at you differently. Like I would be like, "What kind of person am I hanging with if this is the type of person she is?" Because that's right. not. I don't want to be around women like what, that. What type? Of, what would it tell you about her character? She's a cheater. Number one, she's deceitful, and she's make drawing me into the deceit. <laughs> That would tell me a lot about my friend if my friend had anything to say to my husband. Why are you even talking to my husband about anything that has anything to do with our personal life? You know what I mean? Period. I mean, I get that part. You're not going to call me the next day and tell me to hang out with y'all. And I know you're doing that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do it. I just wouldn't show up. That should make me feel shamed that I'm hanging with people that don't, that are doing things that I don't believe in. That makes no sense. So you, for me, that I, I choose not to be in that kind of environment because it's not healthy. I don't know. But I wish somebody would tell my husband anything. I'm going to whoop the fuck out of him. 